I'm Captain Dwayne Christian from the Humboldt County Sheriff's Office. I currently oversee the correctional facility and this is the COVID Minute. I just wanted to talk to you a little bit today about the steps that we're taking at the Sheriff's Office and specifically in the correctional facility to prevent um, the spread of COVID. So um, as many of you are aware, we've had, uh, we had a staff member or two that contracted it. Um, they, uh, we identified other individuals they may have had contact with. Um, we took swift steps to ensure that all of those individuals were isolated and or quarantined in conjunction with the current uh, public health guidelines. Um, I'm happy to say as of yesterday, all of those employees are clear and back at work. Um, in addition to that, to prevent it, which fortunately we had at least 60 other staff members that were tested in conjunction with it, all of which were negative, which is a testament to the outstanding job that my people are doing, ensuring that we don't bring it into the facility. We require all of our staff members entering the building, um, anywhere that they can't social distance to wear a mask, and they're required at all times anywhere where inmates are present to wear a mask to ensure that we're not spreading it to the inmate population. In addition, um, all the inmates that we do keep and house within the facility are tested if they are willing to be tested by our contracted medical provider and public health processes those tests for us. And we quarantine those inmates in a separate unit where they have limited access to many things for a period of 14 days. And that's to ensure that once they're sent out to the regular main population, we're not um, possibly introducing COVID because as you may be aware from you know other facilities throughout the states um, if we were to get an inmate to contract it we do have to move very swiftly and we have to ensure we isolate them as soon as possible we have the ability to do that we have two rooms within our medical area that are negative airflow that can be used for that type of thing um, we would obviously increase our ppe and make sure all of our people interacting that them have the industry standard for any interaction that you would have with someone that's a COVID positive case. So as you can see, um, the sheriff is very diligent on ensuring that the community is safe, the inmates that we're entrusted with um, the care of are safe, and that our staff working within the facility are kept protected and safe. So I appreciate your time and this has been your COVID Minute.